Today we're going to do some ultra low cost macro photography using a lens reversed on the camera. I have a Canon EOS 30D here. Picked this up used at KEH. Very low cost and you can use old lenses, old film era stuff. Work just fine. Do have a 50 f1.8 which we'll get to as well. Before we get started I'm going to go over a few different things you want to keep in mind. With the camera, I'm going to be careful of the lens contacts. So I have some no residue duct tape. This is very similar to gaffer tape, but it's easier to find. I picked this up at Home Depot, places like that. So the goal there is just to make sure that you don't short those out because that would be very bad. So we'll be switching lenses back like that and metal on metal. It's going to damage it. So be very careful of that. Even before the lenses, I have a magnifying glass that I can use to do some macro stuff with. One thing to keep in mind with lights, you want a lot of light with macro stuff. You buy normal bulbs and just get standard fixtures. You want to go for the daylight color temperature bulbs, which I think are better and easier. That way you can set your camera to 5000K color temperature. Otherwise you get those dingy yellow bulbs. Another thing I thought I'd try out is with this little cutting board. It's white reflective. Just a good surface for the bottom that way some of the actual light will reflect back and just give us better lighting. The issue with the Canon stuff is that it's all electronic. There's no mechanical levers or anything for the aperture so you're going to be stuck at f1.8. If you go film area you can easily get lenses with aperture rings on there. You can adjust it yourself. This will probably work the best out of the group. I also have an old Nikon lens. It is a zoom lens so more challenging to use. A little more finicky. Let's try out the magnifying glass first. There really isn't much to it. You just have to Get the right distances between the camera, whatever you're using to focus, and the subject. Doesn't work great, but it does show something at least. Maybe with more practice it'll work better. Pretty challenging. Let's go to the 50 1.8. Of course, maximum aperture only. Yeah, this works really nice even at f1.8. When you're doing macro you want to think of your plane of focus. So if you're shooting like this it's going to be only a really thin bit of stuff in focus but if you're shooting straight parallel it work a lot better. Now let's try a Sahi Super Takamar 50mm f1.4 as the aperture ring. You can add some extra light with this panel otherwise you can use just regular lights but you know you get the idea. Let's do a quick test with this Nikon 35-70, 3.3-4.5. This is another one I picked up at KEH a long time ago. Closes focus, 35. Now oh, that's super, super close. That was a fun little test using a 30D and some lenses reverse for macro stuff. Hope you enjoyed the video. Scott Photography Bonsai. Thanks.